President, the President of Kenya. Yes, well, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Mr. Well, let us see. Come in. Take the chairs over there. We'll have to just the three waves of cameras and stuff that is including your own press. But uh, my daughter, Maureen, yes, she told me that uh, in what um, was Yes, she expressed, expressed her very much she was coming over and helping And she really did to get it to me. intellectually dishonestly by the administration. Uh, no, no questions. Will you take questions at a news conference soon? We're talking about that. Next week? Uh, I think there will be an announcement when we finally decide it. Exactly. What, what's holding things up? Just a busy schedule. Sir, have you saved enough money to pay for your long-term health care after the catastrophic illness limits <laughs> over? <laughs> You know, this catastrophic illness doesn't go very far, and, and you have to save a lot of private money for that. You may even have to sell your house to pay for it if you're like some of the people. That's why we're taking action on it. We haven't heard much about South Africa policy lately. Uh, what have you got to tell President Hoy about that? We'll be having quite a wide-ranging discussion. Thank you. Did you talk about human rights? Human rights in case?
in the Sudan, I hope we do all we can to bring the two sides together for talks to end their civil war there. And in Uganda, we share your concern about Qaddafi's foothold there. But we hope in the interest of regional cooperation that you maintain good communications with President Museveni. And uh, I've talked long enough now. I think you possibly have an agenda that you would like to touch upon. Well, Mr. President, um, first, I would like to thank you for having an invite. And then these heavy rails, and 
but the best place to get those were old telephone calls. <laughs> and I called the company in California there. And I was the governor, and I said, I know that you have a lot of old holes that you take down and so forth, and, and they can't reuse them, and they, they usually get a problem for the disposal. stability. With an admirable sense of purpose, he has guided his people and country successfully through some very trying times. Probably no other nation in Africa, for example, handled the severe drought of 1984, as well as Kenya, under President Moy's guiding hand. It was testimony of his... Bilaterally, our two countries have had exemplary relations. Our people share a commitment to the principles of representative government private ownership and individual freedom. I personally will friendship and respect are healthy and vibrant. We are honored and pleased to have you here, President Moy. Thank you very much. Countries which have food sub surplus. We came to Washington to express our for the mutual benefit of our two countries. Kenya is proud of its cooperation with the United States of America. Our discussions with President Reagan today governed many of giving incentive to farmers and agriculture assuming the highest priority it deserves. This is what has the values of human dignity our two countries cherish are being abused daily. An end to apartheid is in inevitable, and the sooner it comes, thank you.